lovely opinion loading peak. And we are back today with a little different vibe. We just concluded our I Do series. And if you are behind on that after this video, definitely go back into our channel and look at our I Do series, all right? And I just want to remind you all that opinion loading, we are about sharing opinions. And sometimes as adults, we may forget that children, they also have their own opinions, right? So we brought our little friends today to discuss and share their opinion on the pandemic and how it has affected them where school is concerned. And we are getting ready for back to school. So um, Auntie Carolyn, let's take it away. First, we have to have them introduce themselves. We'll start with your hand, see? I am very glad to be here. What standard are you in, Johansi? I am in standard four. Okay. Hi, my name is Azaria, and I am 11 years old, and I am in standard five. And it's really, I have, I have been waiting for this day for a very long time now. <laughs> what day exactly are you waiting on? <laughs> this day. Okay, okay. Hi, my name is Justin. I am 12 years old and I am in, I am in Standard 5. Hi, my name is Alea. I am 10 years old and I'm in Standard 4. Hi, my name is Karen Stephens and I am in st Standard 2 and I am 7, 28 years old. Very nice. All right, so we're going to go straight into our questions with you guys. Uh, the very first one being... What are you most excited about for the upcoming school year? What are you most excited about? I am most excited to see my friends because during this pandemic, I mostly got to see Makari and Nira, but I want to see everybody else. Okay, so Karen is most excited to see her friends. Anybody else? I am most excited for back to school because I am going to be starting a new school, which means new set of children and I will hope to make friends really quickly not to be popular but to make friends to make me feel comfortable okay nice all right so be, before we continue let me just ask you what school do you want to pass for school I want to pass for mostly is miracle ministries that is located in Cuba okay I am most excited to see my teacher because last term I really didn't get to meet her so I looking forward to see my teacher I'm my friends, but more my teacher. Okay. <laughs> the two boys, come. Let's hear what you're all excited about, Justin, you handsy. Um, I'm excited to do class physically and not over screens so I can get to communicate with my friends and, and have fun. Okay. I'm ex excited to go to my new school and learn more things that I have learned previously and that I can make more friends than I have in my old school. All right. What school do you hope to pass for? I hope to pass for St. George's College. Nice. I, I see, I see, you know, Leah smiling. Why are you smiling? Because it's a good school and one day I will want to pass for that school too. Okay. okay, okay. And you're in standard four, right? Yeah. Okay. And Johan, so you are standard five, yeah? Going into standard no, I'm five. Standard four. You're not going into standard five? What? Yes, I am going into standard five. I, I know that you're going into standard five. So what school do you plan? What school did your mommy put down for you to go to? Um, St. Joseph. St. Joseph. No, I'm sorry. St. George's. St. George's. So everybody here wants to go to St. George's, except for Azaria. And well, I'm not sure what Karen, Karen is so far from, from deciding what school she wants to go to. But the just, reason why I'm smiling is because um, I've heard of St. George's University for my mommy. But St. George's University, St. George's College. What is St. George's College? That's a secondary school somewhere in the Baratari in Trinidad. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, moving along. So, you all told us what you're most what what you're most excited about 
tell me what you are least excited about for the news? I'm least excited to do work. I have homework, I shall say. Okay. Just because I, I got a little worried earlier. No, no, no. It's homework. Homework is the worst. Okay. I am least excited to... Wait, I forgot. I am least excited for back to school because it will be a new environment and it is something I will not be accustomed to straight away, but I think I could work with that. All right. Um, so I know it's been over, it's about over a year. You all have been having online classes, right? And um, I know that was a drastic transition for you all, but how have you all been coping thus far though? How has it affected you? Did it affect you in a good way, in a bad way? My teacher used to use Zoom, and when she used Zoom like five times in one day, people would hack the Zoom. And every time she changed link, she had to end up going on Google Meet. And every time you go on Google Meet, you can't really see who joined in and who not joined because she trend joining on different names. So it was wow. really scary. And we are the, the only class that went a whole term um, on online school. Okay. Okay. It affected me by, because it's, we just have Zoom all the time, right, for most classes. And if she don't let me in, she takes away marks from me. And so it's kind of not my fault, but I hate when I don't get in class because I always want to do the work. But when I don't get in, my friends don't really tell me what happened. Well, I got you very well i had to manage for um for in one two and the whole of standard one so i got really good at the computer but at the end almost to the end of the um standard one team i got really scared of hacks because one, one time when i was on a good program they hacked the thing okay wow so you had a lot of hacking your hands okay. eh? or justin nothing really bad happened the only problem i had with it was that we never got to personally know our teacher and it had two new students that we never got to really know. So it was kind of like in a like even way, if you want to call it. Like good, it was good but bad at the same time. So so when they hacked the Zoom sessions, what what your teachers had to do, log out and come back in? They would do that on Tunji Zoom link. They would what? They would recreate a Zoom link? Or as my teacher did, she went on a different platform, which is Google Meet. But okay. even though she changed the link, every time she changed it, the person will still end up hacking it and getting it. And then we'll see a set of things in the chat that is not appropriate for kids. Wow. This, um, that still, the hacking still happened, even though you were on Google Meet? Mm, well, yes, but not as much as how it used to happen on Zoom. Okay. I was lucky enough to to meet my teacher when when he drive by but some of these students didn't get to meet him and it had one new student and and her name was Aaliyah and I had a other student but I'm glad to, to tell you that she didn't really attend class because I think she had check problems and the thing that we had to do when when the person hacked the good Bible thing, um, they, they said a lot of um, inappropriate things in the chat. And, and when a man turned on his video with his chest naked. Oh, wow. wow. But I was lucky enough because I only saw his chest. Thank God for that. I also had a new student, and it was awkward for me because when I was in standard two, her class, they always used to bully us, my class. 
So it was actually a surprise to me that she actually stayed on and she was in my class. <laughs> okay, so so what what do you what you saw was your biggest challenge with online learning? Like what was most difficult about it besides besides the hacking and you know all these external things in terms of actually being able to focus on your schoolwork, get your homework done, and all these things pertaining to the actual schoolwork and learning, what was your biggest, what would you say was your biggest challenge, if you even had any challenges? My biggest challenge was that when we, so the, my class, the boys in our class, not the very troublesome, and because um, our teacher very quiet and she very, she very soft and they will take advantage of her. And when she says, when she gave homework the, other, the next day, they will be like, miss, I sent it to you, but it's like it never went through. And they will say that they keep sending it the next day and send it the next day. And when that happened, the next day, she will call with them on the Zoom. And I will pick up time because we have a certain time we want to finish with. So because of that, we wrote, we wrote essay this year. So if she wants to make us do past papers, something is stopping us because of these students not paying attention and certain stuff like that. So that was the biggest challenge because it was a very hard time to get everything to do one time because we had a little bit of time to do certain things. Okay. One of my challenges was the going and coming of the Wi-Fi. Mm. So like when I was doing my work, the Wi-Fi would go down and up, I would be I'll get to the screen will go blank. I wouldn't be able to finish my work and I will fail. And that was very sad for me. And for other children who had the same problem. Okay. The most challenging thing I had during the school year was that some people would not answer when my teacher calls and it would take up time and it would like set us back on the things that we had planned to do. I, I could relate to that all too well. <laughs> well, I really had challenges, but the most challenge I had is when my laptop would cut off sometimes. And then when I will go back to join, I don't know if class will come off because I never get in. Oh, shucks. <laughs> so your teacher never let you back into the class? No. And every time oh. I ask my friends, they don't reply. They just change the topic to the next thing. Just so I don't really talk to them really really that much. Alia, really <laughs> rough. <laughs> um... Just, just a question to Azaria and, and um and Justin. Um, you all said that you all would see this year. How was that experience for the two of you? Um, what? How was that experience? What was it like going into school after so long and seeing your friends, um, getting to be in the same vicinity as they were? But obviously, you, you know, you would not have been able to greet them hug them etc how, how was that for you guys well as i said the time that the boys in my class are very troublesome so the natural social distancing but it was a really magical thing because the school really really changed because so we got a new principal a little bit before we start we wrote essays so it was fixed up everything was nice they had a social distance washing our hands and stuff like that but it was a really good experience just to see the school one last time before you leave to go another place and another environment with a bunch of other kids. So it was really nice. Okay. And Justin? For me, it was enjoyable because for like after a year, yeah, I finally got to talk to some of my friends physically. I mean, like with the social distancing thing and stuff, we still got to talk and such. So it was very enjoyable. All right. Okay, so tell me, um, everybody, what, what do you hope to achieve in this upcoming tune? Yes, Karen. <laughs> the honor roll again. Oh, yes. Tell us about your honor roll, Karen. 
I got the honor roll twice. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Yeah, and I and I always have gotten eight. So no Very wonder good. I always get honor rolls. No, no <laughs> wonder, right? No wonder. <laughs> Any anybody else? What you all have hope to achieve in this upcoming too? I will hope to achieve moving higher up into my class. And by higher up, you mean getting better. So my teacher, he sections of he sections of the different students. So those who don't do well, they are on the bottom. The ones who do all right, the middle, and the ones who do great and excel on the top. And right now I'm in the middle, so I'm trying to go higher so I can make it to the top of excellence. Okay, oh. so it's like a list of all these students, and it's like a ladder then, more or less. Yeah, so it's like a ladder. Okay. What I hope to achieve in the upcoming year is to get good grades and make sure that I keep it up so that my mom would be proud of me and that I would be proud of myself. How do you all feel about how so much things have changed during COVID? You can't get to see your family as often as you'd want to, your friends as often as you'd want to. How do you all feel with so much changes? You always have to wear a mask wherever you're going. Um, you always have to wash your hands and sanitize. How has this affected um, how you feel about going outdoors, about hanging with family, about being around friends? It's upsetting. It's upsetting. Why is it upsetting? Because wearing a mask, it, it's annoying. Okay. You can, I can barely breathe in it. That's one thing. Okay. Okay. Karen, I saw you had your hand up. Yes, it was terrible. Um, when it had total lockdown, my heart sank. Because since I don't have any brothers or sisters, it's very, very lonely. I don't only have my parents to talk to. And I don't think the mask is so bad. But I, I really would like to get rid of all this um, stuff that you have to do. And I feel sorry for the people who, who have lost their loved ones. And lucky for me, I have my grandma to take care of me, and I'm scared because my parents are frontline workers. Oh, okay. Yes, it's really heartbreaking because today we just came back from Tobago, and yes, we were on the beach, yes, but we couldn't really go on the beach. And knowing other children would love to go on the beach to have a swim because they can get pressed and afford to rent a villa for a pool and stuff like that. So it's really heartbreaking for some people who can't do such thing. Um, it's really somewhat getting boring inside because you only have the TV and sometimes now the did it um Wi-Fi going down, computers dying, everything. So it's kind of getting boring. So yeah, and when you mask, it's really suffocating now, especially how you have to wait everywhere you go. So yeah. Yeah. I can totally agree with her. One hundred percent. But I see currents can up a face. Why? <laughs> Why? Are I can do because I can break through my mask. Oh, because you can break through your mask. Okay. The only problem I had was with the mask because because I have asthma, it is like suffocating to me with the mask and, and it's very hard to breathe through it. Well, I could relate with the um the mask wearing thing too, you know, ever so often that we want to take off the mask because it's it's uncomfortable. And like Justin, I'm asthmatic too, so I understand how, you know, how it feels to always have to have on this mask to go and do things and when you have to drive for long distances with this mask on when you have more than one one more than just you in the vehicle it's it's difficult so we understand auntie amanda has something to say oh i i, I was just about to ask um was anyone actually glad that they didn't have to physically go to school I no. think it was kind of well, yes, you have to go to school, but now you really regret saying that. 
So, so I agree with all of them. <laughs> right. So, like, at any... first, at first, <laughs> at, at first, I was mad either way. At first, when school closed, I was mad. Now I'm mad. I'm still so mad. <laughs> so, so you you like going to school? Yes, I love school. Yeah, oh, me too. I like playing tag and tag and cobra. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, so our final question for you all. Um, if you had one wish about school this year, what would it be? Now, this is a question for everyone to answer, right? So think about your answer. If you had one wish about school this year, what would it be? One wish would be that we we get to talk with everyone physically because some of the people you really hate, you miss, really. You really miss them. And you would love to have these conversations and catch up on what you all talked about before school closed. So that's my wish. Okay. Who's next? Karen has a hand up. My wish is to play tag and cobra, because uh, that game is literally tag, except you and you have to touch them. Oh, so you wish to physically be in school as well? Yeah, and touch everything. And touch everything. Yeah, because I like to touch. <laughs> All right. Interesting. For me, it would have to be that, like, COVID would have had lasted a bit shorter than this, so that at least everyone wouldn't have lost so many family members and lives wouldn't have been lost. And that, I mean, like, school would be, like, open to physical so that we can see our friends and talk to them and, you know, play with them. All right. My I'll wish okay, all right. is for school to open back physically and for COVID to go away. Exactly what I was going to say. All right. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us. We had so much fun talking to you. Do share with your friends this episode. We'll send you the link. Tell them to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And we hope to see you again soon. Who would come back on our channel? Opinion loaded. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you all again. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching, guys. Do have a good day. Bye. Bye. See you later. <laughs>